Hello, hello, and a glorious day to you. I'm having a great on passive day here in the heat. Um, you know, by now, I hope that you know on passive has innovation labs for digital and physical products, as well as his own data center. It's going to be open on Monday, by the way, and we have more on the way. We got a huge, uh, huge one um, coming up next. That's to say, and just to, to let you know that we are steeped right on passive is steeped in 21st century technologies and our labs are the incubators for future technologies these labs are the spaces that harbor the creators the techs the developers the engineers and inventors if you will of tomorrow's technology and on passive is on the cutting edge of that and so very much more now some of these emerging technologies and technologies that are coming out of obviously these types of labs they include big data analytics, right? This is a process that's used to sift through huge amounts of data, chunks of data to uncover information like hidden patterns, you know, market trends, correlations, customer preferences, stuff like that. On passive is doing this. There are also sensor networks like radio frequency uh, identification, right, RFID, used in location-based services to track people and things. Yep, OnPassive is doing this. And of course, we all know and love what we call the Internet of Things, which is something we use to describe physical objects with sensors, processing ability, software, etc., for communication over networks. And yep, OnPassive is doing this. Artificial intelligence, yeah, that's uh, intelligence demonstrated by machines as opposed to humans or animals, and on passive is doing this. Mobile digital platform, man, these are a big thing too. These are lightweight apps, right, for portable devices that launch quickly and securely, and yep, on passive is doing this too. We've heard a lot lately about cloud computing. Right, and this is an on-demand availability of computer resources, system resources, right? Especially data storage and computing power without direct management of the users. So that's important. And large clouds uh, for uh, data centers usually have functions uh, that are distributed over a lot of or at least multiple locations and each of those locations is a data center. Yeah, on passive is doing this too. Cross platform apps, big stuff in technology. These are apps that are built in web languages that can be native apps, right? Designed to run on specific systems, but they're able to run on any device. Who gotta love that. These are great for building uh, single apps for um, the uh, iOS or, you know, you know iPhone uh, operating systems and Android as well. And doing it this way, you can build it like 50% faster, right? Twice as fast. On passive is doing this stuff too. Now, blockchain, we've heard a lot about blockchain, which we're going to talk about in a minute. This is a structure that stores translational transactional records it's a digital ledger and yeah on passive is working with bit uh blockchain as well now i believe on passive is also working with virtual and augmented reality technologies robotics 3d printing sustainable energy systems and even uh technological autonomy you know uh stuff drones do <laughs> the point is this since 2000, right, coming into the new millennium, the whole world has witnessed the emergence of social media platforms and iPods and Bluetooth and flash drives and smart drives and smartphones and self-driving cars and autonomous flying vehicles and a ton of other stuff, right? There have also been huge leaps in energy storage, uh, energy generation, artificial intelligence, uh, medical services and medical sciences too through biotechnology, gene editing, those sorts of things. And I know that Mr. Mufar is working with many cutting edge technologies now and is going to do more so moving forward. And we will even be developing these things in our own labs. And I've said all that to say that our future with OnPassive is bright. It's scope of 
developing uh, a scope of continuing development, we'll say, is almost unimaginable as we move deeper and deeper into the 21st century with technological advancements that are going to change a whole lot of things in this world. So let me tell you something. If you're a founder, good on you. You're part of something magnificent and about to be in the best shape of your life. If you aren't, you have until June 22nd, less than three weeks from now, to get on board, get active, and get unstuck. Join through on Passive.com or go down below in the description box and click on a link that's down there, I hope. <laughs> anyway, last week, Mr. Mufara said that we were going to get a, uh, be starting to work with blockchain. Of course, we've known this for a little bit, but he actually came out and said it publicly. So we're into blockchain. Good stuff. The big deal about blockchain is its security and its traceability. Now, this was talked about at very high academic levels, you know, the stuff university level dissertations and such are made of, right? But it was, was done as early as the 1990s. However, it was brought into full view, so to speak, by an academic article that was published by Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008. And pretty, well, a lot of us probably know that name uh, as he is listed as a uh, pseudomus, I guess is a word, pseudomus creator of Bitcoin and the developer of the first blockchain database. So there's a piece of trivia for you. Uh, accordingly, the chain, as it was known back then, eventually came the blockchain because information was put in blocks, in chunks, right? And those blocks were combined, boom, 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 right? And the combination of blocks with that information done like that made the transmission of the data faster. So that was to speed up the chain. And thus, blockchain was the first important application to securely exchange money without a central bank. Now, this is where it gets interesting because we can think of it as a digital system to trace transactions that really has got nothing to do with an authority, a regulation, or a global data provider. In other words, you don't need a bank. <laughs> Life is good, right? That's the beauty of blockchain. In this traceable system, there is a unique identity. It's assigned to each product, and the data transmitted reveals that identity. And everybody who reaches that identity or contract, as it were, right, the, the forwarded stuff in the information can see the data and can use it. And all the data transferred is secure, it's unalterable, it's transparent, it's distributed, and it's unhackable. Again, no authority, no regulation, no global data providers. Pure magic, right? Bam! Nowadays, many applications are using the robust immutable aspects of blockchain. Immutable just means unchangeable. You can't, can't do anything with it. It is what it is, right? It is the technology undergirding all of the cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Litecoin and Ethereum and all dozens of others, right? But it's also found its way into ethereally recording everything possible with many, many, many other applications. In other words, it's being wrapped around or becoming fundamental to every process that leads uh, to um, a ledger and that ledger needs security. So... It's a process of making that ledger secure, unhackable. A ledger, uh, incidentally, is simply a record of accounts or transactions. And blockchain is the new class of information technology that combine, combines, excuse me, the cryptography, right, coding, secret codes, right, put it in crypto, and a already existing ledger. So it's a distributed ledger, right, that, that already exists. You put the two of those together, and nobody can screw around with it. So the model is made up of computers that work jointly. Uh, they work together to maintain a secure database without storing the data at any one particular or a central unit. And that is key. That's what we mean by decentralized. Now, 
Unpassive is an AI IT company and a very, very big one. We are massive and we have a very, very big digital ecosystem and a massive digital marketing platform, a whole bunch of physical products and technology development that's continuing well into the future. And I can't imagine all the ways that blockchain is going to be integrated into the things that we are doing and will do. Now, like everything else with Unpassive, to use Mr. Mufara's term, it's mind-boggling what we're doing. Regardless, through these efforts, on passive is going to provide more value to the world than any company that has ever existed, period, and or bar none. So, like I said, if you're a founder, good on you. You're part of something magnificent, and you are about to be in the best shape of your life. If you aren't, you have until June 22nd, less than three weeks from now, to get on board, get active, and get unstuck. You can join through on passive.com or with a link in the description box below. But whatever it is that you decide that you want to do, just know that we wish only blessing and blessing upon you and your entire family. Thank you so, so very much. Get ready for the greatest shape of your life. Get ready for the greatest shape of your life. No matter how great it's been, it's just going to get better. Two more important facts here. Okay, number one, whatever we have ready to, it's more than you ever thought you would have in your life for the cost. Up until now, you have to know this, okay? So, and the, the second piece of it is, it's not that it's functional, dysfunctional, that you need it or anything. It just... For us, is stacking the cool or delivering a higher quality and adding more features or securing more. That's nothing less of, of a phenomenon. Nothing less of uh, of a super uh, you know business. Nothing less of that. So, is it ready as of now? What we have in on passive, okay, for the cost that it is, I promise you, you have not seen any business or you probably have never dreamt in your life, not myself, to have a business that I can be a partner, I can receive a benefit by using that product financially, not only the, 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 the time I'm gonna save in, in my life every day, two, three hours you know, wasted on broken applications, that's not gonna happen, number one, it's one place, so you're not going to have to hop around. Number two, it runs on autopilot. We do the work. So it's going to save you a ton of time and money, and it's more value than you've ever received in one place. No company is going to give you that much value. No company. I mean, I don't know how to tell you that. I have to keep my tone. No company on the face of earth is giving you the value that on passive is given you and will give you no company on the planet that we live on okay not talking about aliens that will give you the value that on passive is going to give you i'm going to repeat probably you missed that no company that i know or you know that is going to give you so much value for one business or for but one transaction. I think you didn't get me. Okay. Listen, no company that you or I know ever existed in the history of, of any market that will give you so much value just because you're cute or for being in. Five more times. Let's do that again. I'm not going to do it. I think you get my point. There's no company ever, ever is going to give you that much value. So we have to be the most valuable company to you. Therefore, your family or your, your well-being in, in a way.